I was homeless because I lost my job. Um, COVID had hit. The cost of living on the West Coast is, is pretty outrageous. Um, and having three small children and being the only one working at the time, my wife wasn't done with nursing school. So I just had a lot more going out than I did coming in. So some of the hardest things about being homeless for me was sleeping in my truck, trying to find a safe enough area for me to pull over on the side of the road or park and not be in you know, harm's way. So that way I could get back to doing what I, I needed to do for my family uh, safely. Having a home now, uh, to be able to take somebody out of the mindset of being homeless, um, I would say to them, uh, it's okay to not know everything. Um, human life is pretty precious. You know, the saying here today, gone tomorrow, or, you know, uh, you got it all on Monday and you lost it all on Friday is very real. The choices you make in the positions that you get put in in life are huge, bigger than you can understand. So I would just say, make the right choices in your situation. Being homeless doesn't mean that you need to make bad choices. I got caught up in it, I'm not gonna lie, uh, of being like, man, I just need to do anything for a quick buck. Some people understand that people will do anything for money. So you could lead yourself down a treacherous road. Uh, you just gotta make sure that your heart's in it and you don't give up on yourself. You know, my dream uh, coming from where I come from is um, probably owning a 60 inch Alaskan sawmill, 10 acres, milling away, making lumber packs and custom hardwood tables, countertops, benches, floating shelves, you name it. Really getting in touch with the earth and reusing all of the things that have been provided for us. Uh, my perception of home is good food, uh, my family, my mom, my sister, my wife, my aunts, cousins, just happiness. That's home to me. <laughs>